So y'all, we made the peach cobbler earlier. Now I think, uh, I can't do this with gloves, y'all. I just washed my hands, but I've got to have my real fingers to do this one, sorry. Um, uh, I think this is the fourth show I've done for YouTube. Uh, the very first one, I did Cracker Salad. You know, I told y'all that I'm trying to come up with little things that hopefully you have in your pantry at home. So we did the peach cobbler earlier. Well, now I'm gonna share with you uh, my fried pies. And it has, this air fryer of mine has just worked beautifully for my fried pies. Now, this is what my grandmother Paul used. Uh, I don't even know in her kitchen years if there was even so much, uh, uh, if there was such thing as puff pastry back then. I don't remember, but I, rem I do remember this. I remember grandmama taking her canned biscuits, taking the cover off, wrapping it, and saying, I was so damn glad when they came out with these canned biscuits. <laughs> do you remember that, Peggy? She loved the convenience of canned biscuits. That's what she used to make her blackberry cobbler. That's what she used to make her fried pies. But I, on the other hand, prefer puff pastry. That's my favorite. Uh, I, I'll use a canned biscuit if I don't have any choice. But I've taken my sheet of, oh, and look, I cooked one and had it ready for you. I put a little dollop of butter on it because remember, there was no butter. There was no butter in it or on it. Oh, uh, so I am dampening the edges of my puff pastry. You got to wet it a little bit so that you can seal it. So I'm gonna put a scoop of my blueberry pudding. I mean, my blueberry cob, my pie filling, y'all. And uh, this comes in strawberry. It comes in apple, cherry, cherry. It just comes in so many flavors. Uh, is there a dish rag right there that I could? Thank you, Eddie. Um, comes in a lot of flavors. And this is the most convenient way to make fried pies. Um, I, I've got my mushrooms. Thank you. I've got my mushroom. I'm not my mushrooms. <laughs> my peaches and my pear trees out there. And uh, so I've got, I've got fresh pears and fresh peaches in my freezer, but we would have to take those out, sweeten them, cook them down, and then we would have to thicken them with cornstarch because this pie filling has to be thick. If it was thin, it would run all out. And we would have no juice. All right, so I've got those sides nice and damp, so we're just gonna fold it over. Now you get, in puff pastry, you get um, two sheets. What did I do in my puff pastry box? We can put it back in the freezer. Oh, don't worry about it. Um, you get two sheets, and I take my, my itty bitty baby rolling pin, and I, I roll that sheet of puff pastry out just a little bit so it's not quite so thick. And uh, I get four fried pies out of one sheet of puff pastry. So to, in order to make sure this is sealed good and my pie filling doesn't come out, I'm putting my tines of my fork in flour and I'm just coming around like that, making sure it's good and sealed. All right. Now, I kind of like a shiny finish, so I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make another pie before I do that. I think I'll make three pies, because that's what I've got left, okay. So these are so simple, y'all. It's almost silly. They're so simple. And people will just think that you've been to a lot of trouble. 
my favorite fried pie of all fried pies, believe it or not, y'all, is pear. And then apple is my favorite after that one. And peach is probably my least favorite fried pie. And I can't tell you why, because I love peaches. And I love peach cobbler. But when it comes to fried pies, I, I love those pears. Now this puff pastry, when you thaw it out, it comes tri-folded. And when you unfold it, well, it takes a few minutes for it to thaw out before you can unfold it. But as soon as it starts thawing, you can gently unfold it and then it, it, uh, it thaws out really, really quick when you spread it out. And I sprinkled a little powder on my piece of parchment paper so I could roll that crust out a little thinner. Okay, so here we go, just that quickly. I've made three fried, well actually I've made four, because I had one for y'all to see. And I think I cooked them about 10 minutes in the air fryer. Now Grandmama and myself have always fried these on top of the stove in a nice big skillet with maybe um, half an inch or inch of uh, grease, oil, whatever you use to cook the frying in. And uh, that makes them really tasty. But I have realized the value of that air fryer, y'all. I can get basically the same effect without any grease ever touching it. So that really helps me on my watching my intake of fat. Now I've just used just the egg yolk for this and you see how pretty and yellow that is. So it made, it made that pie like a pretty golden brown. So I'm gonna, I've got room for probably one more, but I could probably do four, but I'm just gonna do three. And I did, after the top started getting brown, y'all, I did flip them over for a few minutes because I didn't want a doughy bottom on my pie. I wanted to make sure it was all nice and brown all the way around. I don't know who came up with that puff pastry, y'all, but I could kiss them square on the lips because I, I've never had a desire to try to make my own. And I admire people very much that are into making all those delicate breads. But uh, <laughs> I've always just been a housewife trying to beat a clock. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna spray this. I'm just gonna kiss it with a touch of I think this is canola. No, this is bacon. Uh, but you can use any kind you like. Uh, you can use, what temperature? You, you can find them in all different selections. All right, now I've got this on 350. And I put it for 10 minutes. I don't like to, I don't like to use my air fryer and put it 25 or 30 minutes because I, no matter what I'm cooking, I like to at least check it at the end of 10 minutes. So, and it's even less if I'm just heating up something. So, there we go, just that simple. What am I forgetting, gang? Gotta eat it. <laughs> what am I forgetting? Breaking open what yeah. needs to be inside. Pretty 
good, y'all. And I know probably a lot of y'all keep these biscuits in your refrigerator. The first one thing and then another. So it really makes it convenient. If you don't have an air fryer, get your big frying pan, load it with whatever kind of oil you choose to use and fry them on top of the stove. Really, it's even better. <laughs> but this is good and this is saving me some fats that I don't need. Mmm. Was there anything? Would y'all like one? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Eddie? Auntie? Let me ask you this. Did you say that you wanted to use some ice cream? Oh, my That is exactly the way I'd serve it. Aunt Piggy asked if I would serve that with some ice cream. Yes. Yes, whipped cream. or you could use just fresh sweetened whipped cream. Uh, and those frozen whipped toppings, personally, I don't use those. Uh, I like the real deal, but it's whatever your tongue likes. That's the most important thing of the whole cooking match. That's, that's what it depends on, your tongue. And I love y'all, and I will be doing these some more. Please let me hear from you. Um, if you have any special requests. And um, just remember, we're all in this together, and we are going to get through it. And we'll come back stronger, smarter than ever. Love and best dishes, y'all.